guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today we are gonna be testing out overhyped products. Why did I all of a sudden become a cheerleader? I do not know, I apologize. Let's get straight into this video. <laughs> So, when I say overhyped, I don't mean that these products are bad. I just mean that they are hyped up a lot by social media influencers, YouTubers, beauty people, etc., etc., and that is why we are testing them out. I'm not saying overhyped is a bad thing. I'm just saying like hyped. You know? You know? You know? So, uh, let's go. So the very first thing we're going to be testing out is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So this claims to be a primer and moisturizer in one 24 hour hydration. Now listen, I am a dry skin girl, so something like this could, could really be a game changer for somebody like me. So I hope this thing works, I really hope this guy is legit honestly the packaging is really freaking cute no interesting interesting feels it's very light I, I would have thought that it would be thicker but it's not thick at all it's very thin it kind of feels very silicone -y. I wonder if it is silicone based uh, 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 uh. okay so now I'm gonna go in and bake and set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have the shade 10 Fair Light. I've never tried this before, so I'm very, very curious about how it's gonna go down. So this is super hyped as well. Like so many people are obsessed with this powder and I'm like, what's the big deal? I, need, I guess I need to try it out. So here I am trying it out. <laughs> I don't bake for a long time just because I have dry skin, so I don't ever bake for too long if I even do bake. So I just left it on there for like a couple, like a minute. And that is good enough for me. So then I'm just gonna take some more of the powder and dust it over the rest of my face. So if you guys cannot tell, I decided to go ham with the blush and the highlighter is also kind of adding a blushing effect. It's this beautiful highlight by Pop Lux called Double Life. Ugh. Look at it. It's like, it's this peachy color, but it leaves a gold sheen, but it also acts as like a blush topper. I'm freaking obsessed. And I'm really into the whole bring the blush up to your freaking eyebrows type look. So that's what we're playing with today. And then let's actually start with the eyes. So I got the Huda, Huda, whatever you want to say it, Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. This has been going all around Instagram, all around um, YouTube. Everybody is using these and I... I don't know, I, I don't know. This is my first time trying this, so let's get straight into this. I'm, yes, yes, thank you. So I'm just gonna take this shade. I, I don't know what it's called. I don't, it doesn't have a name at all, but I'm gonna take that shade and set my eyelids. I always do this after putting on a primer, set the lids with the same color that your eyelid is or a light color. I always feel like this makes shadows pop more, so that is why I do it. But you could also use a translucent powder. You might be thinking, Jordan, you look like a clown with your cheeks so pink and your contour that dark. Well, listen, the, I'm trying to, I'm kind of going for an editorial type look, like a little bit avant-garde, like I'm trying to take a really cool Instagram picture after this. So I am going for a bit more intense look today, so keep that in mind. Stay out of my comments with the, uh, what's going on with your feet? <clears throat> I'm doing it on purpose, okay? I'm going for an avant-garde type look, okay? So I'm just gonna go in with this brown shade, oh you can't even see, this brown shade right here, 
Oh, it's a beautiful, cool toned brown. I love it. I love it. And I'm just gonna start blending. Then I'm going to take this color right here and just kind of blend that up into it. Why am I talking like this? I didn't know. I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely not. So I am experienced fallout from this color. But like I have said in almost every single video, a little bit of fallout is not like the end of the world to me as long as it doesn't stain the skin while it's sitting there. Like if I can brush it away and it's not gonna stain the skin underneath, like then it's fine. Like I don't care too much. And that's what I care about the most is if it's gonna wipe away, then I'm fine with the fallout. But if it doesn't just wipe away, then it's, it's a situation. It is a situation. So now to further deepen that crease, I'm gonna take this darker burgundy shade right here. Okay, this color is just not showing up. Hello? Um. Why isn't it showing up? Okay, it's just like, it's disappearing. The color is disappearing. I mean, it's kind of there, but it's just kind of not there at the same time. Okay, so these shimmer shades are actually beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I need to pop that one as my highlight or my brow bone highlight. Oh, that's a beautiful champagne color. Ooh. So I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to drag it down on my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to take this color right here and put that on the outer part of the lash line and the outer V like a little bit, like just in there, like just right in here. So now I'm going to finish off this eye look with the seriously hyped Stila, what is this, the, the, this is the uh, Magnificent Metals, or no, this is the Glitter and Glow, like one of their liquid liquid eyeshadow thingamajigs. This is in the shade Wanderlust. It's brand new. It's like a, it's new to their collection. <gasps> oh, that's really pretty. Now I have used these before. I have the Magnificent Metals and they are absolutely amazing. Um, but this is brand new to the line. So I thought I'd pick this up and show you guys. But this seriously does deserve the hype. Like this is freaking amazing. Like these bad boys, so down for, no joke. So um, I'm gonna put this on the center of my lid and put it also in the highlight zone, inner corner highlight zone. <laughs> <clears throat> Mm, with this extra blush type look going on with this, like, uh-huh. Yes, hi, what's your name? Queen extra, queen of the extras. All right, so now moving on to lashes. I'm going to be trying for the very first time ever Roller Lash by Benefit. <sighs> That's a beautiful sound. Okay, actually, with that second coat, it looks pretty darn good. Like, fluffy, wispy. I'm getting that vibe. Are you guys, tell me what you think. Usually I'm more the type of girl to go with the, I like, I like thick, I like really long, thick, like bam in your face type lashes. So this is definitely a different vibe than what I usually go, 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 go for my natural lashes, but it's actually not bad. 
not bad at all, but I am gonna be plopping on some false lashes just because I need the extra shot. Bam! <laughs> all right, so now on to the lips. This product has been talked about, has been swatched, has been reviewed all over social media. I think you know what it is. This is the Fenty Buna, Buda, Buna. This is, this is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. I, I'm kind of excited. I don't know if it's, it's just not gonna go very well with this makeup look, but that's not the point of this video. We are testing out overhyped products and this is probably one of the biggest overpriced or not overpriced overhyped product on the market as of right now so let's just go for it first of all this applicator is so weird i'm excited let's go we gotta fix this really quickly with concealer because girl girl always messes up with freaking red lipstick because it just i kid you not red lipstick scares the crap out of me just because once it gets on your face somewhere it stains Pearl popped off with this red lip okay so now she could do this in like five different shades of nude or like a mauve brown color girl yes this formula it's light it's thin thank you so now the last step this is not quite, well, this is like the new one, but this, this thing in itself is very overhyped. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Now this is the newest version. It's the Environmental Defense Makeup Setting Spray, but I'm saying I'm adding this in here because the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray is just so hyped up by everyone. And um, yeah, but I just got the newest version of it, so. Let's just dive straight into it. Okay. Am I a new woman? So this is the final makeup look using all of the products that are overhyped. Now let's do a very quick little run through of each of these products and I'll tell you my final thoughts. All right, first for this Smashbox primer. First impression thoughts is I really like it. It makes the foundation look very smooth, but at the same time my face doesn't feel dry, which actually happens a lot. So like, like I've said before, I am a dry skinned girl, so anything that has moisturizer in it or helps the moisturizing process, I'm totally down for. So, so far I really do. Next is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Usually my under eyes would be creasing by now and my upper lip would be flaking off from powder and that just hasn't happened yet. So my goodness, I really do like this powder shoot like this isn't this doesn't happen very very often with powders like pow the laura mercier powder dries the crap out of my skin i will never use that powder again um and, and that's that's a powder that is loved by everybody i have very high standards when it comes to powders just because my face is so dry and any type of powder will completely dry out my face but this has not dried it out. It doesn't look like cakey or anything. I'm very, very impressed with this so far. Like, dang, dang. Girl is hard to impress with a face powder. So next is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions Eye Palette. I really do like the colors in this. All of them that I tried were fantastic, except for this one right here, which just didn't even show up on the face at all even if I tried packing it but other than that the other three matte shades that I did try and all three of the shimmers were fantastic um, I don't know about these two yet just because this is this is a first impression and I haven't tried those yet but so far it gets a good 8 out of 10 not the best just because 
I just really wish that beautiful maroon color worked and it didn't, but not bad, not bad, but not the best. Moving on to the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Wanderlust. By far, hands down, amazing. I love these guys. These are definitely worth the hype. Obsessed, yes please Stila, love it. Moving on to Roller Lash. Um, I think this is worth the hype if it's what you're looking for in a mascara. Now, if you want fluttery, fluffy, spread out lashes, this is your mascara. But if you're like, if you're somebody like me and you like thick, intense, bold lashes, then this is not your thing. Um, I, I, I vary between the styles. If I want a more natural type of look, this is definitely where I'm looking at, but yeah. So yeah, I guess it is worth the hype. Moving on to the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. Girl, this is definitely worth the hype. Flawless, flawless, flawless coverage. Formula is perfect. I'm definitely down for this. The packaging is really cool, and I also really like the applicator. I thought that was interesting and really nice. Last but not least, the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Honestly, this my face feels really good after spraying this on. Now, this is the type of thing where you kind of want to test it out for a longer period of time. Actually, all of these are things you would want to test out for a longer period of time, but this is a first impressions, so check back with me in a favorites video and see if any of these are hits or misses in that type of video. But for now, this first impressions, I really do like this. Oh my gosh, I freaking liked everything except for the Huda Beauty palette is just a little bit of a miss but only one shadow. Wow, it's pretty good, especially for somebody like me who is super, super, super brutal when it comes to makeup products. Like, you guys know, if I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you I don't like something. So I am kind of shook because I would have thought there would be something that I didn't like in this mix, but like for sure I thought I wasn't gonna like this powder. For sure I thought this was gonna dry up my skin, but it didn't. So this is like the first all positive review I've ever put up on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to become part of the hashtag Joby Squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.